In this paper, we present a scalable adversarial imitation learning framework that can train general purpose motor skill models on large unstructured motion datasets. The learned skills can then be reused to solve diverse downstream tasks, while enabling a physically simulated character to produce naturalistic behaviors that resemble the original dataset. Humans are capable of performing an awe-inspiring variety of complex tasks by drawing on a vast repertoire of skills. This repertoire is built up over a lifetime of interactions with the environment, leading to general purpose skills that can be widely reused to accomplish new tasks. This is in stark contrast to what is conventional practice in physics-based character animation and reinforcement learning, where control policies are typically trained from scratch to specialize in a single specific task. In this work, we aim to develop a scalable framework that can leverage large unstructured motion datasets to learn versatile and reusable motor skills for physically simulated characters. Our framework consists of two stages, a pre-training stage and a task training stage. During pre-training, the character is provided with a large dataset of motion clips, which is used to train a low-level policy to map random samples from a latent space to behaviors that resemble those depicted in the dataset. After pre-training, the latent space provides a reusable skill embedding that can then be utilized by a high-level policy to perform new downstream tasks. In the pre-training stage, the objective is to train a low-level policy to model a large set of skills that resemble natural human behaviors. The skills should be diverse and directable so that they are general enough to solve a wide range of tasks while also being easy for the high-level policy to control. This is accomplished by using an objective that combines techniques from adversarial imitation learning and unsupervised reinforcement learning. First, the imitation objective encourages the policy to produce behaviors that resemble a dataset by training a discriminator to predict if a given motion is from the dataset or was produced by the simulated character. The low-level policy is then trained to produce motions that fool the discriminator. Next, the skill discovery objective encourages the policy to produce diverse and distinct behaviors by maximizing the mutual information between latent variables and the resulting motions. This is achieved by training an encoder to predict the latent variable that produced a particular motion. The low-level policy is then trained to produce distinct and predictable behaviors for each latent variable so that the encoder can more easily recover the original latents. The low-level policy is trained to imitate behaviors from a large unstructured motion dataset containing about 30 minutes of motion data. The dataset contains motion clips showing common behaviors like walking and running, as well as motion clips that depict a gladiator character wielding a sword and shield. Our characters are simulated using Isaac Jim, NVIDIA's high-performance GPU-based simulator, which allows us to train the low-level policy with approximately 10 years of simulated experiences, requiring about 10 days of real-world time. At the early stages of training, the character is mainly trying to maintain balance and stand. After four months of simulated time, the character starts to develop some locomotion skills. After two years, the character starts to perform simple sword swings. Finally, after 10 years, the character learns to perform a large repertoire of diverse skills. Conditioning the policy on random latents leads to natural and lifelike behaviors. By changing the latents that the low-level policy is conditioned on, the character is able to synthesize plausible transitions between different motions even when the transitions are not shown in the original dataset. A common failure case for physically simulated characters is losing balance and falling when subjected to unexpected perturbations. In addition to training the low-level policy to imitate reference motions, we also train the policy to recover from fallen states. This enables the policy to develop robust recovery strategies, which can consistently get back up after falling. These recovery strategies will then enable the character to automatically recover from perturbations when performing new tasks. After pre-training, the low-level policy can be reused to perform new downstream tasks by training a high-level policy to specify latent variables for directing the low-level policy towards completing the desired task objectives. 
First, we have a target speed task, where the goal is for the character to move at a target speed indicated by the green arrow. The model learns to utilize different locomotion behaviors depending on the target speed. No motion data is used when training on downstream tasks. Nonetheless, the pre-trained low-level policy allows the character to produce naturalistic motions even in the absence of motion data. By training the low-level policy to recover from perturbations, the character can automatically get up after falling when performing new tasks. The character can also be trained to move in a target direction while facing a different target heading direction. All of these tasks can be performed by using the same low-level policy. Next, we have a simple reaching task, which evaluates the precision with which the model can control the low-level fine-grained behavior of the character. Our model allows the character to closely follow the target using naturalistic behaviors. Our model also allows the character to compose disparate skills in order to perform more complex tasks. Here, the model learns to utilize different locomotion and sword swing behaviors in order to move to a target and knock it over. Training policies from scratch for each task leads to unnatural behaviors. The pre-trained low-level policy allows our character to produce substantially more lifelike motions. The skill discovery objective is crucial for learning directable and effective skills. Without this objective, the learned skill embedding can be much harder to control, which can hamper performance on new tasks. Reusing the discriminator from pre-training as a general motion prior when training on new tasks can produce higher quality motions. The choice of action space for the high-level policy can have a significant impact on the character's exploration behavior when learning new tasks. Random exploration in the original action space does not produce semantically meaningful behaviors and just causes the character to fall after a few time steps. Our method of using the unnormalized latents as the action space for the high-level policy allows the character to explore more structured and diverse behaviors. Using the normalized latents as the action space can lead to less diverse behaviors. More details are available in the paper. Thank you for watching.